properties of continuous functions. In our previous videos, we discussed continuity of a function at a point and on an interval. In this video, we will discuss some very important properties of continuous functions which would help us in solving various questions easily. According to the first property, if f and g are two functions continuous at x equals to a, then the function f plus g is continuous at x equals to a. Which means that the sum of the functions is continuous at the same point, both the functions are continuous individually. The function f minus g is continuous at x equals to a, which means that the difference of the functions is continuous at the same point, both the functions are continuous individually. The function fg is continuous at x equals to a, which means that the product of the functions is continuous at the same point, both the functions are continuous individually. The function f upon g is continuous at x equals to a, which means that the quotient of the functions is continuous at the same point, both the functions are continuous individually. The function kf is continuous at x equals to a, where k is real constant, which means the function made of multiplication of a constant with a continuous function is continuous at the same point, the function is continuous. The function f of x raised to m by n is continuous at x equals to a provided f of x raised to m by n is defined on an interval containing a and m and r are integers. Which means that the function made of an exponent of a continuous function is continuous at the same point the function is continuous. According to the second property, if f is a function continuous at a and g is another function continuous at f of a, then g o f is continuous at a. According to the third property, if f is a function continuous at x equals to a and g is a function discontinuous at x equals to a, then the function f plus g and f minus g are discontinuous at x equals to a whereas the function fg may be continuous at x equals to a. According to the fourth property, if f is a function continuous at x equals to a and f of a is not equal to 0, then there exists an open interval a minus h, a plus h such that for all x belongings to the open interval a minus h, a plus h, f of x has the same sign as f of a. According to the fifth property, if f is continuous function defined on a closed interval a, b, such that f of a into f of b is less than 0, then there exists at least one solution of the equation f of x equals to 0 in the open interval a, b. According to the sixth property, if f is a continuous function defined on a closed interval a, b and k, any real number between f of a and f of b, there exists at least one solution of the equation f of x equals to k in their open interval a, b. According to the seventh property, if a function f is continuous on a closed interval a, b, then it is bounded on a, b. This means that there exists real number k such that k is less than or equal to f of x for all x belongings to the closed interval a, b. According to the eighth property, every polynomial function is continuous at every point of the real line. According to the ninth property, every rational function is continuous at every point where its denominator is different from zero. The function is discontinuous at the points where its denominator is equal to zero. According to the 10th property, logarithmic functions, exponential functions, trigonometric functions, inverse circular functions and absolute value functions are continuous in their domain of definition. So these are some very important properties of continuous functions which would help in solving various questions easily. 